These devices are GPS trackers. They travel the world attached to boxes of medicines, food, and electronics, sending back information about the package's temperature, location, and whether there's been damage. And they rely on semiconductors, which are in short supply. There's not enough that we have. The demand is so much. The supply of computer chips, the brains of every computing device, has been tight for more than a year as the world emerges from the pandemic. Automakers, household appliance manufacturers, game consoles makers, and many others are scrambling. Some are delaying production. Others are redesigning products around the kinds of chips they can get. We have a semiconductor in almost every single thing that you buy. So my washing machine tells me when it's ready. My dryer tells me when it's ready. My oven has a sensor. Everything that we buy has these sensors, internet connected devices. And so it's going to be impacting the normal consumer. Russia's invasion of Ukraine could make the global chip supply problem worse. Experts say both Ukraine and Russia produce key materials used in semiconductor processing. Some companies will have less dependency depending on their inventories, their supply chain and how they manage it. And some companies will have greater dependency. As the war continues, it will become a greater and greater issue. Rome B, like a lot of firms, is scouring the world for chips and stockpiling them. Doing so breaks from years of just-in-time manufacturing, the common manufacturing practice of buying components just before the product is assembled, which keeps costs low. And there are two choices, right? Either sit and do nothing and be hopeful uh, that things will just improve, or you basically take the bull by the horn and say, what can we basically bring in within our control? But buying up chips may extend the crisis. This will go on, in my opinion, for the next 12 to 18 months because uh, companies like us and many others are going to build out that buffer inventory more than what is needed. For consumers, costs are rising, in part because of the components shortage. So I wouldn't be surprised if the very same electronics that we used to buy uh, two years ago is now 10%, in some cases, more expensive. The shortages have led the U.S. and European governments to consider bringing chip manufacturing back home. But that's going to take some time. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Santa Clara, California.